Happy Thursday, everyone. Today, we continue with the 40 things to give up for Lent and beyond. Today, we are giving up busyness. Well, I love my check boxes. I love my to-do lists. I love it when I'm able to scratch a whole bunch of things off of that list. It gives me a sense of accomplishment, and I feel good about myself, and I like to be busy. Busyness is sort of a badge of honor that we wear. You ask a person or you are asked yourself, how are you today? And your response is, I am busy. In our fast-paced culture, we think that there's something wrong with us if we are not busy because everyone else around us is busy. But busyness does not always translate to effectiveness. Have you ever had one of those days where you were busy all day long, but at the end of the day, as you looked back, you wondered what you accomplished? Busyness in itself does not bear fruit, and busyness is not always what God desires from us. In fact, busyness can actually hinder us from experiencing what God wants for us. Busyness makes it about what we do rather than the relationship that we have with him. But we love our checkboxes as Christians. One checkbox might be worship on Sunday morning. Another checkbox might be give an offering to the church. Another checkbox might be pray at mealtimes and bedtimes. And yet another checkbox might be serve in a ministry in the church. And we feel as if we check all of those right boxes, then we will be good with God. But imagine if you made your relationship with your spouse about a series of checklists. Our spouses are more than a box to be checked on a to-do list. And it's the same way with God. We cannot limit him in that way. So today, let's give up busyness. In the end, we'll dis we will discover that we spent a lot of time on things that really did not matter. In the story of Mary and Martha in Luke chapter 10, verse 38 and 42, Martha is busy serving Jesus while Mary sat at his feet. And Jesus says this to Martha, verses 41 and 42 of Luke chapter 10, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Notice Jesus does not say that there are many things that are necessary. He says there is one thing that is necessary. Your busyness for God is not doing anything for you except wearing you out. God's not counting the checkboxes and neither should you. Religion, it's about checkboxes. Jesus did not come to give us more religion. He came to give us a relationship, a relationship with him and rest for our souls. I leave you with Matthew chapter 11, verse 29 and 30. Jesus says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Happy Thursday, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow on Friday.